we know that uh, testosterone in, in well-supervised, medically appropriate dosing is really a safe hormone. In fact, the lack of testosterone, low testosterone levels, is more of a concern. It's been linked to cardiac disease, it's been uh, linked to depression, it's been uh, linked to increased pain problems, and it's been uh, linked to uh, poor bone strength and bone fractures. So I'm more concerned really about the lack of testosterone. The things that we see about in the media about people who are abusing testosterone, uh, sports figures, wrestlers, uh, weightlifters, that's a whole different category and we're talking about magnitudes of, of doses that's are, that are much greater than we will offer uh, in a medically uh, appropriate spectrum. Women will, men and women, will, will commonly see a little bit of weight gain. That weight gain is muscle mass. We actually see an improvement in fat levels in men and women uh, when, when appropriate amounts of testosterone uh, is being used. So a weight gain will be identified, but it should lessen the amount of, of body fat percentage. Uh, we look at uh, increased oily skin. Uh, some men and women will have increased acne. Those are all dose-dependent responses. We can decrease those doses as necessary. In men and in women, we will sometimes see a male pattern baldness if the testosterone becomes uh, too high. We can decrease those doses again if that becomes an issue. Uh, in men who have a characteristic uh, thinning of the hair on top and, re and receding of the hairline in the, uh, along the forehead, that's usually seen as a uh, testosterone level. Uh, that, that might be inappropriately high. We'll see engorgement of the penis and we'll see engorgement of the clitoris as well. That's a positive response. If the engorgement becomes uh, uh, too significant or uh, becomes too persistent, that is an issue and that is a concern and that's why we monitor these levels very, very aggressively. Laboratory values and physical exam needs to be offered um, uh, frequently, I worry about something called polycythemia vera, which is a thickening of the blood, increasing hemoglobin. Uh, testosterone, again, is a bodybuilding hormone. It increases uh, uh, protein mass. It can increase blood flow, uh, not blood flow, but it can increase uh, levels of the hematocrit and hemoglobin. If the blood becomes too thick, that's problematic in a dangerous situation. Again, that needs to be monitored. The biggest concern, and there's a lot of disinformation regarding prostate health, prostate cancer, and the use of testosterone. 10, 15, 20 years ago, uh, prostate cancer patients were kept away from testosterone. It was felt that testosterone will actually feed prostate cancer growth. Over the last five to 10 years, we've actually taken another look at the relationship of testosterone and prostate cancer and we understand right now we're, we're fairly comfortable with an understanding that appropriate amounts of testosterone being appropriately monitored can be safe in the prostate cancer patient but that's something very importantly that's something that you and the patient with prostate cancer and the doctor have to have uh, a very well-informed, strong interface and discussion uh, regarding the potential risks and benefits uh, in that scenario. The Department of Sexual Health is a unique facility dedicated to evaluating and treating both men and women for sexual dysfunction. We are proud to offer such a facility and reach out to our community in an effort to raise awareness about the potential risks that cause sexual dysfunction. We believe that this private issue is becoming more open to discussion with the men and women of today, and we are here to help rekindle relationships as well as teach wellness, healthy lifestyles, and bring back a quality of life we all deserve. At the Department of Sexual Health, we are here for you when you're ready for us.